Hey everyone, welcome back to the mobile stop motion animation tutorial. This is part two. If you already have seen part one, then you're on a good track. If you haven't seen part one, uh, I'll link it in the description below so you go and watch it. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be covering jumping and like like I said in the last one, we'll be covering jumping, flying, and stuff like that. So. I will put the things that you will need in the description and I will say it in this video. So with that being said, let's get started because there's a lot more we gotta talk about as far as you making stop motions on your mobile device. <music> things that you will need to make your things jump or fly in this video is what's called or what we call a flight stand now you can make one or you can buy some online me personally I use both the ones that are already made that I bought offline and I make my own like this one I made this with just a wire hanger to make them this one out of a wire hanger all you do is just cut it to the length that you want it to be twist one into a circle like this and leave the other end then you have yourself a flight stand. Other thing you will need for the people who are animating characters, you will need your character. Now we got our jump animation in, we're gonna jump straight in <laughs> jump straight into it and that jump. Okay. Okay, now that we did our jump animation, we're gonna start flying sequences. Now flying is a little bit different than jumping, especially when you're doing camera moving when flying, because that oh boy. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how to do flying instead of jumping because jumping was easy as you can see but flying is a way way more complex situation especially when it comes to like uh, taking clean plates clean plates are when you take a photo there's nothing there and then you add everything that you need to add like characters or uh, props not props I don't think you should do that or um flight stands but if you do not have the pro version or have you not paid for the erase feature on stop motion studio it is totally fine you will get there so we'll just do it without erasing it and then I'll show you what it looks like when you erase it Now that I have shown you how to make things fly and jump, I want you guys to try it out for yourselves and send it to me. Uh, I'll link it down below where you can send it. Send me your clips. So with that being said, thanks for watching this video. Um, I don't know when the next part will be out, even though the last part came out like three weeks ago. I'm sorry about that. I was busy working on a secret Spider-Man project. But uh, I will see you guys in the next tutorial that should be very, very soon. Uh, the next tutorial we will be covering like, un like more basic movements such as fighting and punching and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Later.